Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent Speak Out Home practice routine. Hopefully all of you are working one-on-one -on -one with a Speak Out provider and you have been through or are going through Speak Out therapy. That's where you meet one-on-one -on -one with a speech language pathologist. Most of our patients reach their goals in eight to ten therapy sessions and then these online sessions are meant to help you establish and maintain a consistent home practice routine. So you go through speak out therapy to regain your speech abilities, get them as strong as you can, and then you do your home practice to help you retain it. And that's our mission at Parkinson Voice Project, to help you regain and retain your speech and swallowing. And you can visit parkinsonvoiceproject.org to find a speak out provider. That's the term we use, speak out provider. That's a speech language pathologist who's been through our training as a, and is licensed in speak out therapy. Today's topic, word games. Everybody say that with intent. Ready? Word games. Don't let games go back. Ready? Word games. One more time. Word games. Do you like word games? If so, go ahead and chat. Tell us which one you like. And let's all smile with intent. Ready? We need to practice smiling. Take a sip of water. Smiling with Parkinson's, unfortunately, is not going to be as automatic as it used to be. So you really need to be looking in the mirror and practice smiling. Make the muscles move the way they need to in order to get a nice smile. Okay? It's, it's, it's a challenge for people with Parkinson's because the movements are smaller so they don't move their mouth, raise their eyebrows, they don't move them, you don't move them as much and so you don't get the smile that you really want for your pictures, but you can do it with intent. The first speak out exercise, the may me my mo moo, let's do this with intent, here we go. May me my mo moo. Don't let it trail off. May me my mo moo. Again. May me. Let's stretch it out this time. May me my mo mo. When you stretch it out, I don't intend for you to do it on one breath. You just take a breath whenever you need to. Let's do one more. May me. Very good. Let's take a sip of water with intent. All right. Speak out exercise number two, the Oz. Deliberately open your mouth and speak out. <clears throat> uh, again. Uh, Try not to trail off. Here we go. Uh, I like
like how Brett says, strong, not long. It doesn't have to be long, but it has to be strong. Let's do a shorter one. Uh, and one more. Uh, take a sip of water. We're being purposeful and deliberate as we do these exercises. Speak out exercise number three, the glides. Project out a steady aw and then slowly glide up. Here we go. Uh, uh, all right, try to get all those little notes in there. We don't want it going, uh, okay, get all the notes. Uh, uh, good. Let's do it again. Uh, This is probably the most challenging exercise. This is where it's very helpful to work with a speak out provider who can help you to get this glide. It's important. It's important for your swallowing and it's important so that you have a colorful voice. You don't end up with a monotone voice. You don't want that. Let's get a sip of water. We'll do two more glides. All right, two more. We can do it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, stop. Ah, uh, good. And one more. to the counting we're going to count to 16 all right lift every number and project it forward here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Takes a lot of intent. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Let's do it backward now. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12, 11, 10, 9, we're in control, 
Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you tend to rush your speech, if it gets away with you, focus on stretching out the vowels. So if you were to go five, six, seven, eight, you would really try to speak out and stretch out the vowels. Five, six, okay? That's how you do it. That's how you combat that rushing of the speech. You don't think about slowing down. That doesn't work. You think about speaking out a more. Speaking out more. Okay, take a sip of water. Today's topic, word games. Let's read each sentence twice, second time with extra intent. Ready? Do you play word games? Now with extra intent. Do you play word games? Next one. Some people play Scrabble. Now with extra intent. Ready? Some people play Scrabble. Next. Crossword puzzles are found in newspapers. Again. Crossword puzzles are found in newspapers. Now keep in mind, when we're doing the reading, the real purpose is to build strength and endurance, to add real words not just counting, real other words, other words to our voice. Okay, it doesn't really matter what you read, but uh, we have to be reading with intent. Let's, let's read the next one. Boggle is another word game. With extra intent now. Boggle is another word game. And the last one. Wordle is a game that is played online. Do any of you play Wordle? Let's read it with extra intent. Ready? Wordle is a game that is played online. That is a really good sentence to practice saying every single word with intent. Let's read it again. Wordle is a game that is played online. Take a sip of water. Conversation exercise. Whoops, I gave you the answer. What is the letter that is missing in here? Which letter is missing? That's right. And now say the word Washington. Ready? Washington. Now spell it. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. Now close your eyes and spell it. Ready? I'll do it too. W A S H I N T O N. Now spell it backward with your eyes open. You can look at it. Ready? Backward. N O T G N I H S A W. Make up a sentence with the word Washington. Go ahead. So these are some examples of the types of exercises that are in the new Speak Out workbook. What letter is missing here? Say it with intent. Now say the word with intent. Michigan. Again. Michigan. Let's spell it. 
M I C H I G A N. Now close your eyes and spell it again. I'll close mine too. Ready? M I C H I G A N. Isn't it amazing how much more challenging it is? Spell it backward, but you can look at it. Ready? N A G I H C I M. Tell me something you know about Michigan. Say every word with intent. Let's go ahead and do Dr. Boone's words, each one twice. Ready? Gula Ganga Ga. Again. Gula Ganga Ga. And the next one. Ku Ka Mangu Ka. Again. Ku Ka Mangu Ka. Ready? Gangla. Gangla. And the last one. Ku Kla. Ku Kla. Take a sip of water and we have a bonus reading. Do any of you like to play Scrabble? That is what our bonus reading is about. Let's read this with intent. The bonus reading is about not just reading one sentence at a time, but reading one sentence and another one and another one and another one and being able to speak out the whole time. Here we go. Ready? Scrabble is a word game in which two to four players score points by placing tiles, each bearing a single letter, onto a game board divided into a 15 by 15 grid of squares. <sighs> that was a long sentence. Were you able to speak out the whole time? You can take a breath. It's not about the breath. Speak out the whole time. Let's do it again. Use more intent. Scrabble is a word game in which two to four players score points by placing tiles, each bearing a single letter, onto a game board divided into a 15 by 15 grid of squares. Keep going. The tiles must form words that, in crossword fashion, read left to right in rows or downward in columns and are included in a standard dictionary or lexicon. Oh my goodness, that was challenging, really challenged my breath support for speech. You can download today's reading material. Take what you learned in the session and practice, practice, practice. Thank you for joining me. I hope that you are speaking, swallowing, and even walking with intent. Thank you.